people in the house are going to be talking about a lot of issues today that affect us and of course that would enlighten you on, the, on what the future holds. Speaking about the future, we also have a special guest in the house today who's going to be talking about the nominations for the Future Awards. We're going to be doing a sort of unveiling for that, and um, we'll get to that much later on the show. But it's, a, it's been a very interesting week. Um, I think the biggest news, of course, not necessarily in Nigeria, but across the world, was Obama's visit, President Obama's visit to Africa. And um, he made a few points that people found not so interesting because he seemed to be just giving us rhetorics that we all know, yes, Africa is nice, Africa is, shouldn't be treated like um, a pariah or whatever it is. And um, there's, of course, still the heat about the fact that he didn't visit Nigeria. Um, we don't know where that's going to lead, but he says it's going to come at some point. At least he said to Kenya that he's been there before and he'll be going there much later, hopefully, for those who, if it matters to, that he will be in Nigeria at some point as well. The politicians are also in the news, of course, a lot. Um, the governors are still in their little heats. Uh, we heard something about the governor of River State being shunned by Mr. President when he was having his, he had a dinner over the weekend last week, and um, apparently he was prevented. The governor of River State was prevented from saying hi to the president. And a few days later, we saw Mr. President in Port Harcourt uh, meeting up with the governor. So um, a lot of interesting things happening. 2015, of course, is looking very interesting. Um, the emerging APC, all progressives of Congress seem to have um, gone ahead to appoint a few interim uh, leaders. They have a new interim chairman and all of that, leading up to their proper um, convention, which will be holding later on in July. The PDP has also dissolved their executive committee and, and installed a few um, interim members as well. So 2015 might seem far, but of course the heat has started, and we know that all of, all of that definitely concerns you and me and everybody. That is watching and all Nigerians, of course. Like I said, we'll have a very interesting show for you here today. We're going to be talking about, you know, lots of very interesting things. We'll have young people in the house who, I know you've you heard of House of Tara's 1,000 Voices. We're going to be having some people from that to come give us an insight of what that is about before we get to the future. I was proper. And of course, hopefully we'll have an entertainment guest for you in the house. So just sit back, relax. I know for those of you in Lagos who might be wet under your blankets, just keep watching. We're going to keep you warm and happy. We'll see you right after this on Rubbing Minds. Every day, you invite us to your home. Now we invite you to our homepage. Join Channels TV on social media. Hang out with us on Google Plus forward slash Channels Television. Follow us on Twitter.com forward slash Channels TV underscore NG. Friend us on Facebook.com forward slash Channels Forum. And don't forget to like our page. That's not all. Subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com forward slash channels web to get posts and video updates and news and events in Nigeria and around the world. Channelstv.com, the news at your fingertips. Every day as they happen. Opinions of us. I lost money in Africa. Sarkozy said he couldn't care about the shareholders. Every Is that possible? For and against, they have to be heard. The government of this dispensation has made a very strong commitment. Yet, bombs keeps going on every day. People are dying and we are talking grammar. Unfeated. We are the worst advertisement of the product we are trying to pick. Uninhibited. People are contravening and contradicting traffic rules. And issues are laid bare. This is what is called in psychology. Narcissism is worse than megalomania. And the weight decided by you. Face off. Wednesdays, 8 to 9 p.m. Only on Channels Television. One city, 18 million people and counting. Over 18 million dreams of a better life and a team task to bring those dreams to reality. What is their game plan? What goals have been achieved? Who are the players? Find answers on Deadline Lakers every Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Only on Channels Television. Welcome back. Now, um, 
last over the past week, um, the House of Tara International launched its highly anticipated book, House of Tara, One Thousand Voices. Um, select. I just want to read a quote here. Selecting 100 stories out of several hundred entries sent from all over Nigeria was no easy fit. And I think it's a book about just inspiring, you know, women and um, their voice. They didn't even have a voice, basically. I have here with me two very gorgeous ladies. I like it when, you know, I get inspiration from pretty faces. Here with me, Omotala Adini Martins. Martins. Yeah. Um, you work with House of Tara. Yes, I do. You're very welcome here. Thank and of you. course, Bukola Akimbino. Akimbino, yes. Very welcome. You're a beauty rep for House of Tara as well. I can see you. I hope Thank I didn't you. do too badly. <laughs> right. my own outlook. Now, um, tell me about this book first. What, what, is, what, is, what is going on with this book? Okay. Okay, go. You go. You go. Okay. Um, House of Tara um, is a beauty company, indigenous company of Nigeria, and um, we came up with a project whereby we want to share inspiring stories of our beauty representative nationwide with the world. So we came up with the project whereby um, Beauty reps nationwide. We have over 3,000 beauty reps come tonight, send their stories to us. So um, we came up with the 100 Voices project. So the stories were read by inspiring women and um, they were selected. And um, 25 um, beauty reps were brought to Lagos, celebrated, lodged for four days, photo shoot, video documentary shoot, and all that. So, and um, the stories were compiled into a book called 100 Voices. Yeah, it's a story in this book. Yes. What sort of story did you have to tell and to get in? What's your story about? Just give us a brief. Okay, my story started way back in school. I, I came from a very humble background and I noticed that when my mommy sent me money, my allowance, I noticed that it wasn't enough. And it's never enough for <laughs> us students, isn't it? No, mine was peculiar because I did a part-time course and we really have to keep paying um, handouts and all that. So I really wanted to maintain myself and then I tried so many things. I tried getting a job in school, but um, quote and unquote, where I was trying to get my job, uh, wanted to get job, they they wanted to be they want me to be their girlfriend you know that's <laughs> so of course i wasn't ready to do that so you know i was in this state trying to find my feet and all that and um, tara herself came to to my school and she sold the vision basically what she said was that if you if you buy into her vision i mean being a beauty rep for house of tara um, you can be financially independent and all that. So um, when I went back to my hostel, I couldn't, I couldn't um, take my mind off it. And I kept thinking and all that. Anyway, I signed up as a, a beauty rep finally, which even the money I had to cajole my mom to like, okay, please, you know, after this, I won't be coming to you uh, frequently anymore. And it so happened like that. Um, I started as a beauty, uh, uh, um, when, I, when I bought, the, my first product I bought was um, 10,000 and immediately I was, <laughs> immediately I was um, selling 10,000 that same day. I'm like, wow, is this how to make money? And even much more than that, I, that same, that same 10,000, I still got like, um, let me say 18,000. And when I say 18,000, like altogether, I, I was able to sell 18,000 worth of product wow. from um, my from capital, you your know, so your very first my f very first um, um, product, you know, so that for me, that was it. So I, I started, I started little by little, little by little. Um, I could remember the very first day I, I brought my kids home. My, my brother was like, is this the next thing you want to start doing and all that? So, but the story has been the fact that it, it was, for me, it was a story of um, self-discovery because Way back then, I was so I was such a very quiet person. I couldn't I couldn't walk up to you. I, I couldn't talk to people. So I was just timid and all that. But being a beauty rep for House of Tara has really changed that. Like I could, I, it, it gave me confidence in myself. I could talk to people. I could um, basically the brand has Tara herself has even made um, how do I put it now has already is a brand that has come to 